All right, so is that lower unemployment number going to bolster President Obama's re-election bid or be ammunition for the Romney campaign? Joining us now to talk about it, RNC Communications Director Sean Spicer. Sean, thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. Good Great to, to be you. here. All right, so things are moving in the right direction. The president said in the debate this week that this is proof that America can't turn back now. The policies are working. Unemployment is the lowest number since he took office. So how do you counter that? Well, first, it's been four years uh, since, he's, since he took office. He implemented a stimulus, a health care package, and, and we're here now. Uh, we still have too many Americans out of work, 23 million Americans that can't find work. And frankly, I think it's great if, in fact, more people are going back to work. That's fantastic news. But this isn't what a recovery is supposed to look like. A recovery should see, you know, numbers in the 250, 300,000 every month. Uh, and, and, you know, as Chairman Priebus pointed out, right now we're cheering at field goals in the fourth quarter. We should be having month after month if this was truly working, and it's not. I think that there's very few Americans that woke up yesterday morning after the, the numbers came out on Friday and said, you know, gosh, it is going better. Things are turning around. Gas prices are double of where they were. College costs are up. Health care costs are up. Going to the grocery store costs more. I don't think that one number is changing the feeling in this country that things are headed in the right direction. If you look at the polling, 60 percent of this country, if not more, are saying that we're heading the wrong direction. And that's because it's not going to take one report to say things are all better. It's been four years um, and, and people just aren't feeling like that, that the country and that their personal situation is getting better under this president. Uh, across the board, media outlets pretty much agree that the president did not have a good time at the debate. He didn't have a good night, and that Mitt Romney um, really, you know, essentially, if we're counting victories and losses, that he came out on top in that debate this week. Um, there have been a couple of distractions and some things that he talked about that have come from the debate. Um, we want to play a little bit of what he had to say about the battle over funding PBS. I'm sorry, Jim. I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. I'm going to stop other things. I like PBS. I love Big Bird. I actually like you, too. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep on spending money on things to borrow money from China to pay for it. Jim Miller did not look happy about the possibility of funding for his particular network right. being cut. Um, but Big Bird has actually been out giving quotes about this, saying uh, that he heard about it through Twitter, not the online kind, but from tweets from other birds. Um, PBS released this uh, statement saying, as a supporter of education, Governor Romney should be a champion of public broadcasting, yet he's willing to wipe out services that reach the vast majority of Americans, including underserved audiences such as children who cannot attend preschool and citizens living in rural areas. We know Big Bird was one of the big um, Twitter hashtags and topics that night. Uh, is this a distraction? I mean, now that we're having to talk about the battle over funding PBS. Absolutely. I think it's a false choice as well. Um, let, let's look at the issue in particular. Governor Romney's been very clear. We've got $16 trillion worth of debt, 5.4 additional trillion since this president's been in office, and four budgets over a trillion dollar deficit each year that the president's been in office. We're borrowing that money largely from China. And so you look at programs, and, and as Governor Romney outlined, his threshold is, are we, is it such a good program? that we need to borrow money from China to pay for it. And in the case of, of Sesame Street in particular, they cleared $124 million in merchandising and other sales last year. So they made $124 million, and then the government said, and we'll still give you more to put your show on PBS. That, that just doesn't make good business sense. It doesn't make good sense for this country. Now, does that mean that we don't support PBS or we shouldn't find ways to ensure that that kind of programming gets on television? Absolutely not. That's, that's good television. It's great for kids but it doesn't mean that you then turn around and say hey let's make a uh, let's borrow money from China to give a company that made 124 million dollars more money um, that, that to, to get that show on air it just doesn't make sense and so I think what you're hearing from Governor Romney and the reason that he did so well is because it was based on substance he went out there talked about the problems that this country faces put real solutions and real plans in place and I think the American people on substance said this guy knows how to take this country forward turn the economy around deal with the debt and a whole host of other issues. So I, I think what you saw um, last week and what you'll continue to see in the, in the remaining 30 days is a, is a real choice between Governor Romney's plans to turn this country around and, and the trickle-down government policies that we've seen over the last four years. It is going to be down to the wire. It's going to be fun. Sean Spicer, always good to see you. Thanks Great for coming in. Absolutely.